<laughs> are you recording me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these are going to be called Lazy Sundays whenever Sundays need to be lazy, and today is one of those days. This is my friend Adam, and Adam has been playing mandolin for... 26 years. 26 years. And Adam won't tell you this, but Adam has played with... I don't know, maybe you would tell. Who have you played with that people might know? It's not, this is not bragging, this is not, I'm striking that from the record right now, we're not- I'm just answering your question. Yes. Um, there was this girl, she had blonde hair, uh, some people know her as Carrie Underwood. So who, who else in like, like country music? Whoop! Oh, oh. <laughs> Man, that's, that's expensive. Oh, um, as far as, uh, recorded with and toured with would be Carrie Underwood, Tim McGraw, Reba McIntyre, One Republic. It, it really doesn't, <laughs> doesn't come that easy to remember. Uh, yeah. Shelly Wright. I've been on tour with, uh, uh, What's his name? <laughs> He's like the king of country. Uh, George Strait? George Strait. <laughs> he couldn't remember George Strait's name. If this kind of speaks to who Adam is, Adam is like completely unaware of like just how awesome he is. I know that uh, you, some of you guys had some questions about who he is and what he does. He's basically just been in music his entire life. So we just kind of wanted to share some stories because he's got a lot of crazy stories. Stories that I haven't even heard. So off the top of your head, like what's one of the coolest experiences? Let me get this camera in focus. Um, there was this one time, well, right after we won that band show in 2007. Adam loves puzzles and like things that he has to really think about. which was uh, on Fox and produced by 19. I think it's just called 19. And they produced American Idol. They uh, also produced this band show and they only had it on for one season. And we won that season and then it never came on again. So after winning the show, they put us on American Idol a couple times and we just promoted our CD or whatever. So just after that band show, uh, we had a phone call from Carrie and she said, hey, would you guys wanna collaborate and work on a song with me? And Ashley was on the phone with her and he was like, he was like, no, of course not. And then she's like, huh? And Ashley's like, no, I'm just kidding. Of course we would. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send you guys a link or just this audio clip was just this piano player playing the song and her singing. So she sent, sent us this link and said, I want you guys to put your own flavor on it. You come up with an arrangement of it. Um, and then in two weeks, we're gonna record it. So we had a lot of pressure on us. <laughs> to come up with something so amazing. I was thinking like, this has to be the best performance and arrangement that I've ever done. So for two weeks, every day, we were just, we played that song in a rock version, in a country version, in a bluegrass version, in just so many different ways, trying to find the right feeling for it. We didn't want her to think that we sucked. I just wanted to do such a good job because I didn't want to go in there and be like, here's what we came up with. And it's like, well, that stinks. We don't want it, you know? We were practicing all the time. We couldn't find a version that we loved. And so Ashley and Austin just gave up. They're just like, well, we'll just wing it, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> wing it in front of Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Okay. But I wasn't giving up, man. Yeah. I was in the basement, like plugging into different sounds and speakers and amps, trying to come up with a cool mandolin signature riff. All I came up with was one little four bar riff. And I couldn't think of anything else. But when I came up with this four bar riff, I was like, I love this, but that's all I could come up with. So weeks go by, the deadline arrives, and we finally get to the studio. And here's what was really bad. When we get to the studio, there's like 20 people in the studio room. Yeah. And the producer, his name's uh, Mark Bright, he does all of Carrie's um, records, whatever. She goes, he goes, hey everybody, get in this room right now. Come in this room. And we're like, in the middle of the room, me and Ashley and Austin in the middle of the room. Carrie's there, her management. Mark Bright goes, hey everybody, I want to tell you something right now. These Clarks are like the best musicians in Nashville. And all of a sudden we're like shrinking. <laughs> we're scared because we go, we have nothing. And he keeps raving and raving. And he's like, these guys are amazing, whatever. And all these musicians that I think are like way better than me are going, oh really? Okay, awesome. Let's see what they got. <laughs> So, yeah. After raving for five minutes, he goes, okay guys, what do you got for this song? And my <laughs> brothers go, looking at him, look at me and go, Adam, tell him what we got for this song. 
I was so nervous, man. I mean, it was a miracle. It was a miracle because I only, like I said, only had a four bar riff. Yeah. And I was just making this up and I was like, I think it would be cool if we started with the mandolin <laughs> and we start with this little riff and it goes like this. For those of you that don't know, that song is called What Can I Say, right? Yes, if you go on iTunes or you check out her Play On uh, album from 2010, you look on the back of it, track 12 will say What Can I Say featuring Sons of Sylvia and that was the band we were part of. I've known Adam for like over 20 years now. <laughs> I forgot. Right after I started playing that riff, everyone freaks out in the room and they're like, oh my gosh. That's a good idea. And everybody starts coming up with ideas right at, in the moment, which spared us. I mean, because you, you had nothing. And they I, were was, just I, like, was, I was scared to death that they would go, okay, so what's after that? You don't understand. I was sweating like crazy. <laughs> I would have asked, what's coming up after that? I'd say, I don't have anything. You would have turned to your brothers and I said, would, what do we got, guys? That's right. <laughs> so I want Adam to just kind of... And this will this will be it for the vlog. It's just a really simple day. I just want him to kind of play a song or whatever for you, just so you can kind of. So we're gonna play something really quick. So, okay. What am I playing? I'm I'm gonna get out of the way so Adam can talk to you. So here you go. Okay, so I wrote this song when I was 16 years old. I don't know how it came to me because it, it's it's still really hard to play right now. And I've been playing for 26 years, you know, but.
my goodness. I'm tired after just watching you, man. Anyway, I'm just gonna end it there. Adam is gonna end up, I think, over time, like kind of coming up with his own YouTube channel, yes. uh, providing lessons, and uh, hopefully telling more stories. And you're probably gonna see more of him in this vlog. Yes, definitely. I'll make it happen. Yeah, we, I, I, this is fun, I love this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there'll be some links and stuff at the end of this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.